Good morning everyone and thank you for joining me again today. Now as I promised yesterday I'm going to do a repeat of the look I did yesterday but this time I'm going to use the Queen of Glow palette. Now it's really interesting because a lot of you that are already commented and I've only just posted the video are in agreement that it was exaggerated. But However, I had an advert pop up on my screen last night with exactly the same model um, and it looked like the same tutorial but advertising Queen of Glow. So the mystery continues as to what they were using. So I'm going to do this look but this time I'm substituting the whole look for Queen of Glow and so I hope you enjoyed this and let's get going. So I've done my magic cream, I've done my eye rescue, I'm now going to put airbrush flawless foundation over my face. Okay, and next on in, I'm going to use um, the Magic Vanish Concealer, corrector, I should say. So first I put on shade three, and then I'll put on shade two. Okay, and then moving on to Magic Away Concealer, shade 6 under my eyes first. and then shade eight on the rest of my face. Okay, coming up next is the powder, shade one under my eyes. And on the high points of my face. And then shade two on the rest. And I forgot to use I'll do it now. Contour wand, because I'm putting it in bits that I haven't powdered yet. Contour wand. Mm. 
Look at that. The head's come off. Bear with me a minute. Okay, and now for shade two, the powder. Okay, so now I'm going to use the rose gold eyes to mesmerize some of you thought it was bet but i'm going to stick with rose gold because i think it works really nicely um i just get my eyeshadow brush Okay, next on in, we're going to try Queen of Glory, so prime shade first. Then enhance. take a bit of that underneath with the smudge brush as well. Okay, then smoke. tiny bit of that underneath just to link it up okay and then I'm going to take the pop shade with my fingers <clears throat> even though it's not one of those ones that you use with your fingers I'm going to try it Let's also try it with the brush. And then I'm going to take that underneath. I'm going to take a bit of this gold and just the enhanced shade and pop it in the middle. Because I think this shade pops more. Okay, now the colour chameleon in bronzed garnet.
Audrey pencil in the lower waterline. Then this time I'm going to curl my lashes, so I'll just get my lash curler. And then four flat lashes. Now in that tutorial, I'm pretty sure they did use a pop shade. So maybe I'm wrong and it wasn't Queen of Glow, um, a proper pop shade with the finger. But what I will do in a minute is I will get my palette of pops in Celestial Eyes, which goes with this palette. And I will put that on as a pop shade before I finish. But next on, let me do my brows. So I'm going to use Brow Lift in Supermodel followed by legendary brows in supermodel. Okay, I'm just going to go and get the glow, the um, glow, the pop shade from the palette of pops in Celestial Eyes. Okay, so here is the palette of pops in Celestial Eyes and I'm just going to take this with my finger, the pop shade, and warm it up and then I'm going to put that over the lid. And again, it always takes a minute for it to warm up. Okay, 
And then with the smudge brush, I'm going to go back along the lower line. And into there. Okay. And I'm going to use Ecstasy Blush and Film Star Bronze and Glow. I just love this. Look at that. Isn't that a dinky set? Then I'm going to use the blush before I use the highlighter. Okay, so Ecstasy Blush, which is this one. And then the highlighter. Now, one of the reasons I swish on both cheeks first, which I didn't do today, is for what's just happened. I've got more pop now on that side than on that, but I'll correct it later so that there was pop on the brush when I was swishing. So that's why I like to do the swish on both sides. And I just didn't do that today. And now it's annoyed me. Okay, now, one thing I forgot to do yesterday was to put the lip conditioner on in Enigmatic Edward. So I'm not gonna forget that today. And I have it here. I just bought the refill. Okay, and I'm going to use Foxy Brown today. And I might fill my lips in with something else because even if they didn't do it on the video, some people said that they didn't feel that they did. Nude cake would be far too fair for me if I didn't fill it in with something else. So actually I might do the filling in first and I'll fill it in with what I used yesterday, which was crazy in love. I could use supermodel, but I'll just use what's at hand. So this is crazy in love. If I don't do this, then nude cake's gonna make me look like a corpse. If you're fair, you won't need to do this. Okay, and now I'm gonna use Foxy Brown to outline my lips. And then Nude Kate. And to finish off the lip luster in Blondie. And that is my look for today. I'm rather happy with that. Hope you've enjoyed it and it's just given you an alternative to exaggerise. A lot of people are in agreement that it was exaggerised in the clip that I put there below, but this just gives you another way 
to use if you want something a little bit darker than Exaggerize and you have Queen of Glow. So I hope you've enjoyed it today. Thank you for all your comments on my video and especially your supportive comments about my poem for my dad. And I'll see you all very soon. Take care. Have a lovely day. Love you all. Mwah.